It's been over seven years since the meltdown at Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant in Japan. But the effects of the disaster can linger for decades and in ways you wouldn't always expect. As the radiation was carried by currents in atmospheric patterns, food from other countries were found to have traces of radiation. That now includes wine from California's Napa Valley, according to a newly released study. Now, researchers from a university in France, or the CNRS in France, tested California wine from before and after the Fukushima disaster and found that there was doubled the amount of cesium-137. The radioactive cloud released by the plant drifted all the way to California's Napa Valley. There, trace amounts of cesium-137 made its way into the vineyard's grapes. The levels varied depending on the wine researchers found, with red wines having a higher amount and rose having the least. The presence of cesium-137 in wines is actually a handy way to test whether vintage wine is as old as it is said to be. This is because since 1952, every bottle of wine has had some level of cesium-137 thanks to the development of nuclear weapons and testing. Radioactive levels vary from the 50s onwards, allowing wine to be dated by its radiation levels, which can be tested without opening the bottle and ruining its vintage. The method was discovered by Felipe Hubert in 2001, and he's one of the people that was involved in the study. With the sensitivity of the order of 0.05 BQ, this technique allows dating for vintage wines between 1952 and 2000, but above all, it is very effective for very old vintages. Indeed, any bottle before 1952 does not, cannot contain cesium-137, even in the trace state, the study reads. Now, despite Fukushima's radioactive cloud increasing radioactive levels in wine, the cesium levels in wine at the height of the nuclear testing period were far higher, so there's no need to panic, they went on to say. What do you think? Is the levels of cesium-137 in wines something that we should be concerned about? Leave your comments below this video. Thanks for watching.